Got another question for the periodicity walkthroughs playlist. So this one focuses on ionization energy. I hope you like the video and if you haven't already subscribed, why don't you think about subscribing? As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So you can see I've already plotted the graph. I'll just quickly explain it. So going across period two, we've got a general increase in first ionization energy. Just remember that oxygen is another one of the sort of rogue ones, a bit like boron. Um, but for the case of oxygen, it's down to the fact that the electron's been removed from a paired um, P orbital. And the other thing to bear in mind is neon's first ionization energy has got to be less than helium's. They're both noble gases, but neon's got that extra shell, so it's got a larger atomic radius and more shielding. Moving on to part B, where I've got to calculate the energy required to form one single lithium one plus gaseous ion from um, a gaseous atom. So you can see I've highlighted lithium's first ionization energy is about 500 kilojoules per mole. So to generate a mole's worth of ions, that much energy needs to be supplied. So obviously to generate a single lithium one plus ion, we divide the ionization energy by Avogadro's number. So to two significant figures, it's 8.3 times 10 to the minus 22. Moving on to part C. So the first ionization energy of helium is higher than that of lithium because helium's got a smaller atomic radius than lithium. It's got less shielding because it's only got one shell, whereas lithium's got two. So therefore there's a stronger nuclear attraction for the electron being removed. And for the case of beryllium, there's an extra proton in the nucleus of beryllium but there's the same amount of shielding. So the atomic radius goes down a little bit, so therefore there's a stronger nuclear attraction for the electron removed. Moving on to part D, so you notice I've copied the graph from the start of the question, and I've got a little energy axis here. So the reason why the first ionization energy of beryllium is higher than that of um, boron, it's down to the type of subshell that the electron's been removed from. So in beryllium, You've got a 2s2 configuration so one of these electrons has been removed um, to ionize beryllium whereas in boron you're removing the electron from the 2p subshell so if you remember your relative energies of these subshells the 2p subshell is higher in energy than 2s and that makes it slightly easier to remove the electron so you get this dip in first ionization energy for boron